In this video, we will learn how to set up alerts in Semitext Cloud. There are three types of alerts in Semitext. Your classic threshold-based alerts that notify you when something crosses a threshold. Alerts based on statistical anomaly detection that notify you when metric values suddenly change and deviate from the baseline. And heartbeat alerts, which notify you when something you are monitoring, like your servers, containers, or your applications, stop emitting data to Semitext. As we will see later in this video, alerts in Semitext can be created on both metrics and logs. Each new Semitex app you create comes with one or more default alert rules to help you and your team get started faster. These out-of-the-box alert rules will notify you via email, but Semitex also integrates with a number of other services, such as PagerDuty, Slack, OpsGenie, VictorOps, etc. You can adjust, disable, or completely delete these rules at any time, of course. All right. So let's see how to actually create some alert rules, starting with monitoring. In this Semitext app, we are monitoring containers. Let's look at this rather spiky memory chart. We normally use about 100 megabytes, but occasionally jump to over 600 megabytes. To create an alert rule on a metric, we'd go to this little pull-down and choose Create Alert. Before we do that, though, let's talk about filtering in Semitext. Let's jump to a view where we can filter what we see on this chart. Say we actually wanted to be alerted when any one of our container's memory jumps up, and apply this alert rule only to containers using this Rancher Agent container image. Now, when we create the alert rule, it will take into account the filters we used. Here, we can give our alert a friendly name, and then we can choose how we want to be notified. And most importantly, we can actually define the alert rule, choosing between a threshold alert or anomaly detection-based alert. I'll go with threshold-based and enter 8 megabytes and choose 1 minute. Now, if any of our Rancher Agent containers crosses 8 megabytes for a minute, I'll be notified via my default notification hook and, additionally, via Slack. At the very bottom of the Alert Rule Create dialog window, you can enable two additional Alert Rule options to get notified when the alert goes back to normal, and to skip regularly occurring dips and spikes. Next, let's jump to a Logs app and create an alert on our logs. Here we see this Fail to Connect to Proxy error. Say we wanted to be notified about that. To create an alert on logs, we start by running a query that matches exactly those log events that we want to be alerted about. To save this, just click this antiquated disk icon also known as floppy disk or diskette. Here, we can turn our query into just a saved search, so we can later rerun it easily, or we can go one step further and turn this into an alert query. As we can see, this looks just like the screen for creating alerts on metrics. If we enter 20 here, Semitext will alert us whenever there are more than 20 matching logs in the trailing 10-minute window that we specified here. Alternatively, if we know the number of logs that match this query is fairly constant, and we want to know whenever there is a sudden change in the number of these logs, we would choose anomaly detection-based alerting instead. For more about alerts, check out other videos and Semitex docs. Thank you for watching.